Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way. And we create content every damn day. Man, hey man, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, man. It's Boss Talk one more again. Coming back at y'all, man. It's crazy, man. We here, man. How long we been here now? Well, almost three years. Did you help me hang that TV on the wall? Yeah, I did all the work. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> man, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> man, Money Moses in the building, man. Hey, we got a special guest today, y'all. He don't need no introduction. This is like his third time, maybe fourth time. Is it third or fourth? Third. Third time on the show, man. Say, say three times. It's going time. down, man. Bad news is in the building. Wow. Not the third time, you know, guest number. What? Know, right? you family? Oh, you family? Yeah. yeah. Man, hey, man, I just want to thank you first off for bringing uh, my boy, man, uh, Pokey Bear in here. Now, I know that day he wasn't going to, he, he had said, I ain't going to, uh, I, he wasn't going to do nothing, but yeah. you know me, I already had to fly. You can't come in boss talk uh -huh. and, and think you just going to be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to be incognito. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bro. One thing I can tell you, uh, Yo, you, you got to understand, man, that day you blessed me, bro. So I got to say thank you, man, because I wanted that interview. Me and him had talked on the phone several times. Right. I didn't know. Okay. Well, I, could, I got some. I, I, I can't even tell that. But, man, anyway, he supposed to be in here before. Right. I talked right. to his wife. I think his wife is manager, yeah, too. And I, yeah, I was like, man, how am I going to get this dude over here? We talk. He in street. Wherever. I'm. He, if he ain't sit in the city, I'm out of the city. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, So thank you for bringing him on Boss Talk. Man, come on, man. You know you scratch my back, I scratch up. Man, man. Doing, bro? man, me and you done had some heck of a conversations, man. You be oh, out yeah. of town a lot, man. Yeah. How is it traveling on that road like you doing, man? Man, it's great, man. You know, I just let God lead and I follow, bro. Wow. It's great, bro. I can't wow. complain right now. You can't complain? I ain't, ain't no sense of complaining where they go fit. He getting a little money, nigga. Mm -hmm. Getting a little money. He started complaining. <laughs> he ain't complaining. He ain't complaining. Everybody complain on the road, bank. No what you say? Yeah, everybody complain on the road, bank. Get no money. Yeah. So he ain't complaining. He ain't complaining at all. He ain't complaining. Man, so, I mean, like, like the one thing I do love about the way you set up, man, every time I call, like, like, how do you stay so consistently getting work like you do, man? Because it's not, I mean, it's almost to me, like, I know a lot of hip-hop artists that's really out here trying to figure it out, and they look like the, the, the Southern Soul Market when I talk to you or when I look at Sir Charles Jones or, or, or if I look at King George. Right. Any of you guys, man, you guys are consistently getting work. How is, that world is totally different, huh? It's different, man, but you know, we, we on Boss Talk one-on-one, -on -one, right? Let's do it. So we're going to keep it all the way gutter. You know, man, you know, I'm from the streets. I'm the dope now. I got to sell myself. That's real. Good dope going to sell itself. Definitely going to sell itself. Going to sell itself, man. A lot of people ain't going to understand what I'm saying, but a lot of people going to understand what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm the dope now. So I got to sell myself. I ain't going to sell if I just stay in the pot. That's or real. Just stay in no sandwich bag. I gotta get out in the street. Yeah, like like what city have you? Because you've been all over the U.S. for sure, and and Hawaii, and uh, yeah. what 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 city have you not hit that you would like to go to? Seattle, Washington. Yeah, I hadn't been up there. My, I got to I wanna, five and, uncles and New up York. there. I ain't never been to New York. Well, you man, know, I, just, I, I been New York. Go, man, I want to go to New York so bad, man. Man, I, I, we might can line something up as far as getting you there. I don't know. Let's make it happen. You know what I'm saying? I, for, go, I, I really want to go to New there. York, bro. I really want to go what to you New York. What you want? You you want to put that Southern Soul on? Yeah. They they need it, man. And see, my Southern Soul, dear, I rap. I know. So I know they going to feel it. So, okay. It, New York is different, man. I just, we, shout out, man. Uh, I went up there. I went to New Jersey. I went to Ice T house, right? Okay. So, yeah, I did the whole interview at his house. He, he over in New Jersey. And, and New York, that was the first time I stayed in New Jersey. Right. So what what the trip was for me is that I stay in Manhattan all the time. And this trip going that I stayed, it's like 45 minutes, you know, over mm -hmm. from Manhattan was the best stay I had. I done had out there, bro. Man. So when you go, I'm just telling you, for one, you stay, no, stay in uh, New Jersey. <laughs> 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 it's just too many people and I got out a, there. I got an auntie in New Jersey, in British New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, stay in New Jersey. That's all I'm going to say, man. I got to go um, to New York, man. You got to go up there, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, my daughter's at Brown University, so I got to go anyway. She in Rhode Island. I go, I'm definitely, Oh yeah. I, it won't be but a few months. I'll be up there. I can promise you that. That, good, that good pizza. Man, I'm not for the play. That pizza great up <laughs> there. My it. wife likes Chicago deep, deep. I don't like, I'm, I'm a straight. You like them thin, big thin slices. Thin, big slices. <laughs> With that, they say the water make it like that. Oh, yeah, really? That's what a nigga down here told me. He had brought a restaurant down here trying to be like New York. Uh -huh. And I was like, why the pizza don't taste like he says it's the water, the pipes. I promise he told me that. Mm. But you Chicago know. got some good pizza now. It's just too much bread. Man, Chicago got a lot of thick bread on that damn pizza. That's Boy, a deep dish. That's a deep dish for real. <laughs> so bro. how was it in Chicago? You went to Chicago? Yeah, I was on the, um, you know, before I got into uh, Sun Soul, I was on the No Limit Tour. Okay. With Master P, Mr. Serve on. He was like, so, I just interviewed Miss uh, 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 Fiend. And yeah, I interviewed Fiend. Mr. Yeah, you know Miss Serve on, my mentor. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, so I was on the um, No Limit Tours in Chicago. I all went to the uh, deep, uh, some kind of place, man. I tell you that pizza was dead thick, man. No, it's thick. Where y'all go to Giordano's or where, where y'all go? I don't go? know where it was, man. It was, that was like in 2019. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember, but I know it was deep, but it was good, though. I, did I you just couldn't eat that much. You see my AK interview I just released with uh, Do or Die up there? I just was in Chicago. Huh? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, me, Mike Epps, all of us was up, up there for, uh, uh, for uh, who was he up there for? We was up there for, what's the name? For, for, Larry Hoover Jr.'s uh, birthday party. And, and man, you be talking about me, man. You be moving, nah, bro. we hustling, man. Man, like you, you be moving, bro. But we had a good time. But I, I was just saying, like, like AK, uh, he was he he talked a lot. It, it was a great, great... Uh, the interview was dope. You got to go check him out. I love the one you got with Faison. I ain't going to lie. I love Which that one? one. <laughs> oh, so he family now. Yeah. He been he more been been more <laughs> no, but but what do you like about the interview? Because I done got myself chewed out about this interview. Go, what, what do you, you like? Hold on, no, first. I'm, I'm not going to no, say which why. one. Exactly. You know him and Country Wayne, they'll be having back and forth. Yeah. That started on Boss Talk. You're right. <laughs> That's where it started at. And I just asked a simple question. What was the question? Country Wayne, they'll be doing their thing, man. Like, what? No, nah, that's some other shit. <laughs> and that's it went it been going it ever since. It was all on Club Shay Shay now. It left I here mean, and went everywhere. That's why I, and believe it or not, what did I see it at? I knew it because it had your logo on it, but I see it on talk. another site. It was on another Probably on TikTok or any of that it, stuff. It'd yeah. be going viral. But it's I wish that, you know, I love man, love Faison. I talk to Country Wayne often. And um I love to see them, you know, pretty much uh really get together and do something. I would I would love to see that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, but we don't know, man. We just see because Cat Williams went off on everybody, yeah, including Faison. And I called Faison. I said, "This nigga is going off on everybody right now." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "What?" He went back. I said, "Now, nah, nigga, wake up. That nigga is going off on everybody." Man, that thing got what thirty million in three weeks. Man, man that thing is yeah, at 50, 50, 50 something million now. It's the yeah. second most viewed interview. On YouTube. That's the biggest Ella Hoop. The biggest one is uh Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan got one that's fifty and eight right now. He gonna catch it. Oh, he gonna catch it because that been up for years. And mm. Joe Rogan's was about aliens or something. It was about a dude who thought he seen an alien. And and that whole went crazy. <laughs> and the dude was so specific on seeing these alienic acts. Yeah, and I wouldn't look at it just because it was the most viewed. I just did that because of Cat Williams interview. He might have been right. He probably did see him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This stuff happens in this world to a point. It's stuff underwater just coming up that we seen we never seen in real life. Like so what? I'm out there. Like what? Well, they had a a, 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 a a turtle with a snake head. Really? Yes. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's you, Photoshop. You don't think Jeff in the sea? No, nah, it was moving though. But hey, I don't know these days. You can't, yeah. take, can't take nothing serious. Well, the whole thing about it, you keep on living. That's what them old folks say. You keep Bro, on living. Yo, my old, yo, my old, you used to tell me, Mr. Bird, I used to say something smart. He's like, okay, just keep on living. <laughs> now I'm starting to see what he meant, bro. Yeah, no, man, like, so you, like I said, man, one thing I can say, man, you being, you know, when you look at the the the, the Southern Soul uh, uh, movement, a lot of times, I'm going to tell you, even dealing with, like, Sir Charles and all of the artists that I see over there, my biggest thing, and LJ Eccles does a great job at it. Oh, is yeah, the quality the of the videos. Yeah. The quality of the videos, I don't know. I think purposely y'all was leaving them a little rugged there for a while. The, I don't know what it was. I'm telling you. Uh -huh. 
But like it seems like now they're they're moving in a, a, a more because technology is changing, bro. Right. So like cameras and everything, everybody these people are getting better with how they're posting stuff. Like, uh, do you see the change happening? Because you see the video, you know, footage the way it looked starting out versus how it how is it now. now. Can yeah. you can you tell the difference yeah. in quality? Yeah, yeah, a big difference. Give me some examples of, of how was your first one, nigga? Yeah, let's just talk. But my first one, <laughs> you know, I shot me and Sir Charles shot that uh, rare breed. Okay. And he was showing me, he was doing all the zoom with, cause he had like four, five different cameras. I remember back in the gap, you had one little camera. Yeah. I'm talking about them more about this big, you get it from Walmart, they just doing it like this. <laughs> but now y'all be putting these things on these tripods and zooming them in, they be spinning. I'm like, well, I love this. <laughs> I love this. So, so the quality of that one compared to the one you're getting ready to release, what is the difference? The shooters. The shooters. The one I just, the, the, I met an older woman. It was shot in Detroit by my boy Herb Mo. You know, different shooters shoot different ways. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. So he don't have all the equipment that Sir Charles got, but he do his thing. Okay. Well, Sir Charles had 20 cameras around you. Shoot yeah. One video, bro. I know. I'd be like, man. All he did, look, then he just be pointing how he be doing the hand when he be recording. Me. I yeah. Do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Give me one camera, bro. So, so, <laughs> so, so, but, but you do see the change in it, and and the one thing I can say, man, like even the quality, the quality, uh, the music is changing. Uh, when you hear like King George and these different uh, artists, is the way that they're bringing it now. What's the difference in the way it was versus the way it is now? Meaning, in the last within the last four years, whether it be King George, whether it be. Uh, you know uh, the way Sir Charles he master he he's could be he was almost R and B to me to be honest with you. he was mm -hmm. R and B ish when he first came and it really pissed people off to be honest with you people did not the older guys didn't know how to accept uh, 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 Sir Charles Jones right. I'm telling you I remember this I'm not crazy I remember it and matter of fact he told me and him talk often about it the way it was because of the way he was versatile he said he was younger too yeah you know yeah. the blues nigga supposed to be old that nigga supposed to growl like Bobby Blue Bland. Yeah. This young nigga coming through, he was younger than these niggas and he was acting like he was just really going, you know, he could do blues, but the nigga too fly really to be in blues looking nigga. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah. So you you didn't know him at this time? Nah. See, you too young. Yeah. You <laughs> I'm you, I see but this, I heard bro. the story though, you know, yeah. like when I was coming up as a youngin, my mom and them used to listen to him. Okay. Yeah. So I knew of him, but I just didn't know who he was. I always heard the music. Yeah. Know, but I didn't ever know who he was. Because when he came out, I was 10 years old. I think I told somebody, I said, man, that King George, he got one call. It's Friday night. Mm -hmm. I said, that song right there really is a duplication of what, uh, uh, what Sir Charles done in that uh his song about Friday. Well, it's Friday. It, yeah, it mean, and they did the same tempo except for King George kept doing it over and over and over again on all them songs. And the tempo is just boom, 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 boom. And he jams. Everything he do is pretty much the same type tempo, the type feel. I heard, nice. another, I heard another dude who had gay showed me something. I think it was last night that kind of sounded the same the same tempo. You know what I'm right. saying? It like, how, how is it when you see people? Because King George came after you was on the scene, right? I think we came around the same time. Uh, it, I, By, I, 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 think he I seen like you first. So I, I'm just telling you, I, <laughs> I, I was dealing with you first. When he came out of 21, too? I don't know. I'm telling you, the nigga just came one day on my YouTube channel, nigga. Shit, I don't know. But I ain't going to lie. You know, <laughs> I just seen him one day. I'm just being real. I just real. seen him one day. Everybody was just talking about him. I'm like, man, who is this dude? But he doing his thing, though. No, no, you he know? definitely doing his thing, but I'm just telling you. But you, see, he came from the rap game like me with Too Short. You know, he would be with Too Short. He was a rapper? Yeah, he was a rapper. I ain't even know. Man. I don't know the nigga history. I told Young you he Holiday. popped up on YouTube. Young Holiday. Man, you know, it's t so. How many new guys is it out there? You were telling me about some. Who was the guy you sent me uh, uh, yesterday? Or the day before yesterday, the one you wanted me to listen to? Oh, young guy. Okay, yeah. What? How long has he been around? About a year. He's been out about a year. About a year. Yeah. He's tough, though. How fast? I, I love this music when you want to listen to it, but how, how, how long? Well, let me ask you this. Like, how many people are, do you see just consistently coming? Is it moving fast? Because you look at the world, when you look at the rap world, you look at different new artists that that pop up all the time. You know what I'm saying? How frequent do those uh, Southern Soul artists pop up? You get, in your opinion? In my opinion, you go get you four or five every year. They go, they go get in here and run, you know? Like, 
it's a lot of them, man. They go get get in here and run. And there's so many artists, but the new one that stand out in trend, you go know them because you go always see them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's what a few what, of them. Dif- what dif- differentiate one from the other? Nothing really, you know, because they, you know, they all sang and they can really sing, you know. So like, they just doing their thing. Yeah. See, it'd be hard for me to speak on that because I'm a rapper. It don't matter. You <laughs> at every show with these niggas, you trail riding with them. Don't come in with that, bro. You see these niggas every day. What the hell are you talking I mean, about? And you the only all... nigga out there with them rapping most yeah, of the time. Only, you the only yeah. rapper. Yeah, but no, he ain't the only. No, I ain't the only rapper. You was, nigga. You was at first. I won. I was. I just made it more noticeable. Well, I'm just telling you, I ain't see them other niggas. So to me, right, it was you. Yeah, I'm, now, I'm you. asking you, like, like when you when you doing the the rap thing, you seeing these. Southern soul artists like you do, like these guys are popping up. What makes one pop stand out more than the other? Is it the grind? Is it the tempo or the music? What is causing the difference? I'm gonna tell you, man, this internet's so crazy, right? Like, if you got a song and they catch on to them artists, the audience, you gonna see it hit 1.2 million, 3 point. Four million. Now these folk booked everywhere. See, that's how Southern Soul run. Okay. You get them views online, you gone. What about TikTok? Do it help y'all in? Yeah, it helped a lot of them. It broke a lot of them. It broke my boy P2K. Okay. It broke King <laughs> George. It broke a lot of people. That trail ride broke me on TikTok. A lot you of trail ride. Oh, you, you killed it. Oh, yeah, I killed it with that trail ride. Was that and, what and you that BBW. Did you intentionally do it, though? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So you wasn't scoping? Was folk, it was just folk just little kids and everything just tagging me and stuff. And I ain't looking at their view, but folk like, man, I seen this on this, and they showing it to me. I'm seeing like 896,000. I'm like, dang. Yeah. It was like that. That TikTok. That, now, that TikTok show enough a different world. That TikTok. When you get out on TikTok, you, you on for the rest of your life. And, 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 <laughs> and you know, hustle, right? If you hustle, right? And you hustle, right? And, yeah. and, and that's the whole game. Like, a lot of artists are really, really gauging to try to be noticed through TikTok, through different situations that are, are being ushered through the, you know, the social media waves. Right. I mean, even when you look at the reels on YouTube, the reels on Facebook, the reels, they're they're sharing these reels if more you and more. The algorithm, you good. Yeah, they sharing these they sharing them more and more. The reels is where everybody is pretty much pushing it to. How how much how much do you focus on that? Man, I really don't, you know. I be focused on the promoter. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let 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 book me, let's work, let's make something happen. Cause I get to these different cities, I'm gonna attract another audience. Cause yeah. there'll be people that don't know me. And you go like their music. Wow. What what has surprised you most when you get to a city? Like like um for somebody knowing, hey, that's bad news. I'm gonna tell you the crazy thing that happened to me, man, in the city. I don't think I was in uh what was that? LA? I was in LA, man. A OG man, he a old man. He about ninety. He a old school blues singer. Uh, Bobby, Mister Bobby. Uh, I forgot his name. Mister Bobby. He he do that saxophone and everything. Okay. He seen me. He said, "Young man, I like what you doing." And then when he walked around the corner, he go around the corner. Get who I see, Mister Bobby Rush. Hey, Mister Bobby Rush. I ain't lying. How big so, was that? Man, it was crazy because what Mister Bobby Rush told me, he was like, "Man, you changing the game." He said, you, you don't know. You changing the game of music. You don't even know what kind of power you got out here. When that man told me that, boy, price went up. Wow. Yeah. It's awesome. If that man saying that, I ain't going to tell him what the other people saying. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Bobby Rush? Yeah. That's huge. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That man told me, he I'm changing the game of music with what I'm doing. Wow. In with, Southern Soul and Blue. Wow. What you seeing, like, like it, it brings something to mind when I, because in the game you in, it was when you start dealing with Southern Soul, a lot of these guys are older guys. Have you lost anybody that was dear to you in the Southern Soul, you know, uh, yeah, world? Yeah, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because these yeah. are older guys. You know, I, I, was, I was a big Johnny Taylor fan. Mm-hmm. I was a big Lil Milton. I was a big uh, uh, Marvin Cease. I, all these guys, uh, as I was getting older, you know, uh, I was listening at that ghetto. I'm just a ghetto man. I still eat beans out the can. That's I'm right. that type of nigga. Right. And, and basically, when these guys left, it 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 was like, dang, Johnny Taylor gone. Dang, man, Tyrone Davis gone. Like, which guys or have you seen coming into the game that that basically, you know, dang, man, they they got on up out of here. And you know the crazy part about it, the people that I don't seen leave, they female. 
Wow. Like Miss Tip from out here. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I had Jay was at a show with that girl. Wow. Miss Portia. You know what I'm saying? She died from COVID. Damn. Oh, COVID took her out. And I was like, man, I'm just not meeting these people. Like that girl died like two weeks, two, three weeks after I had a show with her in Atlanta. Uh, Uncle E, you know, he passed. It's just crazy, man. Like I had a mentor, you know what I'm saying? Just a spiritual mentor, my OG. He used to be with me everywhere. He see, he knew all these folks, Marvin sees all the he like 73 calling Mr. Bird. He checked out on me. Wow. This year. And you and him, you and him. Man, that man, you just, when you seen me, you seen my OG. You don't remember that old school kid I used to be with? The, the one, did he come yeah. here? He came here. He passed, bro. He I didn't even know that. And time. I remember because I had Charleston White and him here yep, that day. Charles, it was me, I had introduced all y'all here. Yep, yep, sure yep, did. Yep, that the first time I came in here. Yep, he and, passed, bro. And he passed away. Council. Man, I remember my, him. My producer who uh, made that song that beat my queen different. Yeah. He passed uh, November 30th. See what I'm saying? Yep. He took a call. He had to take a COVID shot. And uh, I guess it didn't work for his bloodstream. And so over, was he okay year, before? Yeah, he was perfect. It, they made him take, you know, back then when COVID hit, you, if you wanted to go to Jamaica, you had to get that shot before you go over there. Yeah, back. yeah. He took that shot, bro. Went down, man. R.I.P. Yates. Man, yeah. that, that's crazy, man. Like, like the reason I asked you that, because I know in that world, that there's that 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 people are moving you're moving on and they're mm -hmm. gonna continue to move on it, it ain't just that world but i'm just saying every one of us even when you start looking at the rap artists you yeah. know everybody got to get up out of here bro so it really ain't a thing where you know you can't control it all you can do is soften the blow by getting closer to god and loving your family and hugging yeah. your family more but i know one thing about the rap there ain't something good having bg home BG home. Dude, get home, baby. This nigga, get a, you see the nigga up there with me. Where he right there hugging me with that red hat. He was with Little Soldier Slim. They called me the other day on FaceTime. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Was, you yeah. seen him when they was in Vegas? You know, yeah, you know his mom a big fan of my music. She is. Man, his mom love my his music. His mama used to, you know, his mama used to take care, well, used to take care of, uh, I don't know if you know Peaches down there in New Orleans, the record store. Yeah. I interviewed Sirani at the in, in the record store. That's on my show, too. You talking about Soulja Slim's sister, right? No, no. I, I interviewed Peaches, yeah, too. You interviewed, but I'm talking that. about Peaches' record store. Record store on the, the corner Jewish right lady. Yeah. I interviewed oh, I her know that. inside of there. And I interviewed all of No Limit inside of there. Uh, the, the, yeah, this here happened, bro. And when they and, and uh, a lot of the No Limit people. But the thing was, I'm just saying, you know, her mother. Mm -hmm. BG Mama used to take care of her mother. Okay. Before she passed away. Yeah, Mom Cynthia. And, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. She's a big fan of my music, bro. She, I, I mean, that lady called and check on me and everything. And he got a, uh, she got a sister. They called me, too. Uh, they called me, her and her son. He got a little cousin that rap. First cousin. BG got a first cousin that, that raps, and they called me. Luciano? I don't know none of these folks. I'm just <laughs> telling know. you that yeah. they called me, man. Trying to, you know, get on boss talk. Okay. And I told them they could, but they, it, the one thing is traveling. You got to come to me or either you got to wait till I come to your yeah, city. Yeah, yeah, because I don't think he could leave right now. No, no, no. He in Vegas. Yeah, I'm going to see him. Yeah, yeah. But I go to Vegas. You, I'm, you yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get him, but I'm sure going to try to holler at him. I'm going to show yeah. some love. I'm going to reach out through Slim and all that. So right, 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 right. Little soldier. But no, nah, man, it's, it's just a, a, it's a blessing to be able to see people come home, man. You know, oh, yeah. uh, let me just say this right here, man. Honeycomb Brazy came home and went back faster than anybody I done ever man. seen. Like, like in, in a rapper, I think he got the record for coming home and leaving, going back. Went back. I, it, it was 20 some days. 28. Oh, you done counted the days. You ain't You know that boy from Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alabama. That boy Mobile, but Alabama, tell me, tell man. me, like, like when he came home, it was he was already on. He was gung ho. Me and him, he. I got a text about this nigga. Me and him, cause it's a few things going on with me. I'm throw. Right. He came home and he was trying to shoot at Jay Prince now, and he said Pimp C. Anytime you say Pimp C. You got to holler at me. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, so he said that he had a better, uh, uh, that he, you know, something better than Pimp C. I don't, I don't even hear nothing. Just I just hear the Pimp C part. I, you know, and, and then I start tripping. But I get a text from one of his homies, and he like, man, he say, man, he loved Pimp C. He started sending me all these letters he wrote in prison showing that he showed love to Pimp C. But mm -hmm. I was like, man, 
Still, man, don't say pimp. See, y'all got to say somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> pimp, you know what I'm saying, he off limits. And and speaking of that, let me just say this, because I've been getting a lot of flack about it, and I'm here to, I want all the smoke. Mm -mm. Uh, my girl, Nicki Minaj, she just did something, and she said, is your Bond B, or is your pimp C, Melon Megan the Stallion? And I didn't appreciate it at all, because I'm crazy like that. So, mm. so I mean, how do you feel about when you start using the legend name and just basically, uh, uh, I, she really wasn't saying nothing about them, and I know it, but still, using the bun and the pimp name to try to put, it's almost like, see, I'm sensitive. Uh -huh. I'm from Texas. And when you're from New York and you start talking down on the way we talk or you say something that even remotely feels like that, it's going to offend me. I'm going to be honest with you because okay. I know y'all work so hard and we they want to call it Chitlin Circle. I don't play none of that. So you got the right guy gotcha. sitting behind this chair. I don't even care nothing about none of that. I just know y'all sell good music. Y'all make good music, make niggas listen and tune in because it, that's what make us who we are. And right. blues and everything else stimulated from down here. So right. I don't know why they be trying to figure out ways to discredit what we got going. Right, right. But still... What do you think about that? What, what, do you think it's good, good to use the patriarch's name or what? I mean, allegedly. Yeah, say allegedly, nigga. Allegedly. I don't care how you. I ain't said allegedly, nigga. I'm upset. <laughs> I don't give a damn about allegedly. Allegedly, <laughs> you know. I, I, just, I just think it, when you use a legend's name, make it out to be something positive. If don't you, mock with it. Yeah, if you go speak on a legend's name, say something positive about that legend. Or something that you they, you remember them of, you know what I'm saying? That's just what I think, you know what I'm saying? Don't put it in no beef or none of that, you know, because you don't know how these four family feel at the same time when you're doing that. Man, you know it. In I don't that. feel like that. What Man, you, you feel like? Why. Let's go. You know why? Talk, you think you can just talk about legends? You can say what you want to if you feel that way. <laughs> I'm saying if you feel that way, say what you want to. Hey, if somebody got a problem with it, oh well, they can't uh, whoop everybody in the world. I don't know if you you want to. I don't know if you want to play your around opinion. like that. It don't, it's your opinion. I thought we put that freedom of speech, and every you time we say something crazy, y'all want to say something. Like everybody got an opinion on everything. Everybody say we can't. We 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 cannot. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We cannot uh, uh, tend to everybody in the world. So you like, think, we can't care about everybody feeling this. So you think people should just say whatever the hell they want to say and don't even worry about the circumstances? It's going to always be some circumstances it's, and everything. It, it's certain things you say, whether it be about somebody's dead homies or whether so, you, it don't matter. No, we all going to die one day. So why does it matter? Whether it be about somebody's mama. No, you're going to die. Don't matter. Well, I'm talking about a mama that's but alive. It don't you matter. Just going in. So it talking don't about matter, everybody bro. off going. The kids ain't. You even matter. got mad when somebody spoke on my kids, so you can't say that. Look, they kids. <laughs> no, we're talking about. You oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're talking about, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me go back to that. If you're talking about kids, then yeah, of course you got to see me. I don't care who you is. <laughs> but but we're talking about saying. grown folks. Grown folks talking about grown folks. It doesn't matter, but we're grown, bro. That that should be over with, done with. Like you, what's going to happen? Hey, hey, you a bitch. Now what? <laughs> Nothing. Let it go. <laughs> now, if you react to it, then what's gonna cause a whole problem? Right. So let it go. It don't matter. It don't hurt. If he don't react, it don't hurt. It's kind if of you react, you it hurt. It. Yes. But you know, different folk respond. And I to understand it. That's because different. they are hurt yeah, from their pain. I ain't no, gonna say if, necessarily if, hurt, if but if some you, people just don't play them games. Man, yeah, hurt, if man. you get on here and say like you, know? you might, you're like like you know she. I ain't no allegedly. I heard it. I got the recording. She, Hold on, I got a good one for you. Hold on, she talked about Megan's mother, like, and then, and then Megan talked about her certain things with people crossing lines that they shouldn't cross, doing this stuff to try to make views and try to get sound bites and likes, bro. Yeah, it's not like, even nothing to even be doing all that over. If okay, like he say opinions, everybody got their own opinion. You in jail, and a one month call you a bitch, and you let that slide. What you think will happen to Nick? Five, ten years of your sentence. It's gonna keep going. Right. You wanna know why though? It ain't gonna keep going. I mean, it, I mean, it's, you it's, might it's, you it's, might be it's, smart it's, little girl by the time you come up out of there. <laughs> you let it keep going. <laughs> that's why I often get you. That's, that's because that, that's the mindset that they adapt in jail. They no, adapt that to that, bro. Yes, that's it just, is. That's just jail rule. It, no, see, you can't let nobody. See, what you just say it's a rule. They adapt to that. If you make a rule, you have to adapt to it. You have to. If not, then what? Nothing's gonna happen to you. Like if you if you make a rule, you got adapt to that rule. So like I said, hey, if we're in jail, this man say, hey, if, he, if we call this man a bitch, you don't know about it. Everybody gonna keep fucking with you. Right. That's something they, that's something they put in place in their mindset, bro. It's a mindset thing. That's all it is. Yeah. 
I'm uh, like, because I, I but, ain't been in jail. That's right. all I know. Yeah. But you say anything, man, I'm going to fuck with you. Say, bro, come touch me and see what happened. Come touch me and see what happened, bro. I don't care about none of that shit. Because it's your life. You got to live it. So fuck all the other shit, bro. Just go with it. You see how you see, he dangerous. That's why I keep him. Like, listen, when I was younger, I used to say something. But now, like, it ain't gonna get me in trouble. But see, got me but in see, trouble. That, but see, that come with time, bro. You getting wiser now. Everybody need to. <laughs> but it, that don't mean everybody is. <laughs> they not, they where you at? <laughs> they need to, bro. Like, listen, life show you a lot of stuff. Some people take it and run. Some people take it and 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 and, and finesse it and use it. Right. So it's like you, it's how you use it, bro. Like some people gonna use it for the bad. Some people gonna use it for the good. Yeah. Like I say depends on how you use it, how right. you wow. take it. Man, you know the one thing I love about the fact of how. You know, these conversations open up conversations that pretty much give people mm -hmm. eye openers to say, man, this is how I feel about that. Right. This is how I feel about that. This is how I see it. It's our feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about, yeah. you know, and it's therapy. It's it's therapeutic just to even be able to conversate on around the table. Mm -hmm. People don't realize. That's why our, po our podcast is so, it's, it's really a, a, a real instrument that can really help sway different things just going on in this universe, bro. Because people sit back and watch the conversations and they okay, want right. to, most people don't open up. But in an hour's time of us talking, something going to come out and spill out that's going to pretty much make somebody say this or that. And you get mm -hmm. some comments about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's going to come out. It's going to come out, right? So, like, like the thing, can you really, like, have you, you done got married? Or, what? You married now? I'm married to myself. Married to the game. I'm married to the game. I'm married to life. I'm married to you see anything all I hit that loyal like to me. Him, I gut shot that nigga, man, with emotional. Yeah. Uh, try. I'm married to everything that loyal to me. <laughs> Say, man, this boss yeah. talk, man. I'm going to everything, right, man. nigga. You're <laughs> I'm married to everything that married to me, Say, man. Say, how your little boy doing, man? You still rapping? Yeah, a little bad news. How old is he? Little bad Ten. news getting to it. Yeah. So, hey, what that video we uh, heard earlier about the uh, that nine year You know what? Rapper. What was his boy's name? <laughs> little TJ. Little TJ cussing like a saint. Bro. You know, I'm listening, man. I was well, I upset, it. man. But look. Little TJ out here really just go. Uh, I'm a, and that's my look. You know what I'm saying? What's between him and King? Huh? What's the difference between him and King? Uh, he works the King. I oh, think. this look, man. I think, no, no, King, King, ain't, King, King. This is, nigga raw. King is uh, King you ain't is, heard is, is controlled a little bit. He ain't controlled with his words. Pull it up, man. Let me let me let my boy hear it. Oh, my phone, <laughs> was, I, I, I used to uh, pull it up, my Aisha. Let me hear this nigga, man. I want. He got my phone too. Like sometimes these young niggas, I, I don't know, Bro. and he about eight. It's like he can listen. No, he nine. We know it's wrong. But he nah, they, nah, these niggas, these niggas, <laughs> niggas is wrong. It's nah, wrong niggas, what he said, but he's he going out. Ah, oh, these yes. niggas, y'all, here, give me that it's phone. It's wrong, but he can rap. Turn it on. No, it's not my phone. That's my yeah. phone. Give it here. Shit, I thought you going to. Yeah, I'll pull it up and uh, unlock it. Hell, you could have took this one and done that. I thought it was my phone. Hell, man. Yeah, but he going hard, but it's wrong, bro, because he's nine years old. First time he's saying sucking dick and shit like this. Nine years old. I oh, swear, bro, but he's, he's hard. It's wrong, bro. It's, it's very, literally wrong. It's very wrong. It's and then wrong. Got, and, and, and what tripped me out is, I, I, and I'm going to tell you, I was sitting with a mother, What's my little a TJ? single uh, mother. Uh, RT. 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 I was, RT. I was, I was, me. I was I wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look. <laughs> No, bro. I, I was sitting with a single mother. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Here you go. I was sitting with a single mother. Listen to this. Hey, he going out. But it's wrong, but he going out. Boy, I take my belt to his little ass so fast. Yeah, you bought your head, too. Let me tell you something. Boy, I take that belt to that little nigga. Look at his head, though. That nigga ain't doing nothing but what my Uncle Nito did when he was little. You just need a little bit of that damn belt. He ain't doing nothing. Dude. Cut it off. I can't listen no more. Cut that shit off. You know the problem hey, is, man. man. You in know the generation we in now, man. Bro. I ain't. I mean, I'm not. Out. I'm hey, too old, old for this, this bro. But you boy. think about it, bro. Family don't sit around and have boy, that table and have dinner no more. Let me tell you mm -hmm. something. When Little kids don't be in church boy, no more. Boy, my daddy nah. would have seen him do that. Lord rest my daddy's soul. Or if I, well, I could get him over to the house for the summer. Just one summer. That's it. You don't need but six a day with Man, we gonna cut the yard. We gonna be working. We gonna be uh, he he. I'm a dumb, when, when he, I'm gonna let him rap all the time. But when <laughs> I wrap these, woo, when I wrap these loving arms and hands around that belt and 
Uh, when nothing. they went though, I bet, I bet, I bet, Mama getting a fat I'm YouTube I'm gonna cut check. a switch and I'm gonna twitch that switch. Cause my daddy and them got on We too. would take the switch, right? They pay, pay they cussing they too. Features. But look, you hear what I'm saying? Mama getting a nice chick too, Mama though, man. Man, who worries about that? You think I'm gonna sell my soul, my kid's soul for a jelly roll? Man, he could crash out at 14. She 12. She already got. How the money. old was you when you got shot in the head? Ten. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing this right, doing something he had no damn business doing. A jack boy. And Running around here. Yeah. But you ain't got no brain in 10. So what I'm telling you. Yeah, you got you, you be out here doing whatever to get by. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, think about it. I was 10, I ain't with 15 to 16. That's what I'm saying. Yo, your brain is developed, so you don't know everything that everybody else knows when you're doing boy, it. Boy, for you to sit there and do that like that, that don't make no damn sense. I'm going to be honest with you. When you get your butt I'm going to tell you when your life go change when you meet an older woman. I was about to ask you about that. You're going to learn a day. I want I, I want to I want to talk to you about that song. I met an older woman. Mm, like mm. that's your new the and new one. She put it on. That's how me. it go. It give me a little bit of what it say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 no, nah, you didn't really have nigga. You said yeah, no, you him. met an older woman. I met her at the liquor store. That's it. I was making the play. She caught my eyes. A month later, she bay. Wow. Let me tell you about it though. Now my grandma taught me one thing for sure. Mm-hmm. Never ask a wait and don't ask how. Oh, hell no. Mm-hmm. You gonna learn Man, today. you gonna learn You gonna learn today. today. Say, so, <laughs> did, did she have a BBL? No. Nah, I'm just asking. Hell, no, no. <laughs> this is a hell. I was next to You know, uh, because the older women get BBLs too. No, yeah, they is. They is, but no. Nah. There's a bunch of them on Instagram. Though. They out there getting these BBL. They walking. But they look, look good, though. Yeah, I don't know what they forgetting, though. What they get? Forget. They, they kids. How they kids gonna look? Who cares? They cussing anyway. Y'all don't give a damn. Y'all laugh. <laughs> 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 what the hell's a damn about what the kids do? They need to give a damn. Who cares? No, it's how they kids look. No, it's they sound good. It's how they What you just showed me with Lord RT is the same thing that happened to your kids. When your mama get the goddamn BBL, you over here. That's exactly what's happening. Your mama get the BBL, your dad in the penitentiary, and little RT is out here going crazy. That's why your mama got the BBL. This is what's happening. But we we got to look at the whole picture. I am looking at the world we living in now. But you gotta look at your kids' self esteem too. Bro, do y'all hear about the shot they give you? I don't know, 50 Cent say he didn't take it, but he done lost a lot of weight. They're getting the shot now, your head look bigger and everything. They say it's a shot you can take and lose all kind of weight quick. Y'all ain't heard about it? I heard about it. I heard about it. It's, a, it's, it's a, a shot. It's a PO too. For real? Yeah, you can take it tomorrow. You be skinny as. I ain't even gotta worry about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm here how God made you. <laughs> I'm trying to gain. And I lose. <laughs> I'm not going to me. Man, so so what what was the process of that song? I, I met an older one. What what was the process of even writing it, uh, putting it together? I mean, because my fan base mainly older women. Okay. You know what I'm saying? 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. What's the older so man? I had to write some for them, man, because they showed me so much love, so I had to show the love back. Mm. And then you know you never know what a song can talk the future into. You gonna yeah. learn today, man. I'm telling so you, man. you speaking it, you you really speaking things in existence. It's biblical. We made love all night. <laughs> <laughs> she cooked me Sunday dinner. <laughs> I give a good wood, baby. Whoa, hey, I'm kind of young and tender. Whoa, <laughs> bars. <laughs> 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 Huh? What's the oldest that came at you? How old will you, will you go, though? Yeah. How old would I go? Yeah. Oldest I can take? Older they can take? Man, you know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a blessed child. Murder, now, case, they can't take what I'm it. talking about the old day, I might stop at 73. <laughs> but, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're the best. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. 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 He's feeling that secret, bro. The ones with you no, worry about the the ones with no teeth got the best. You don't worry about the body, but you feel never go. Never go, bro, 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 bro. You gonna learn today? Hey, hey, bro. Keep I already baby. know. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I know it already. 
not know this already. You know this already. You be with the wrong women. I'd rather have old women than young women. Really? Bro, who do you go? Bro, I go like. Uh, I go like 65 rounds. Yeah! 73. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you going to get in, you get all the insurance. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Bro, that's 73. Hey, everything's a unique hustle. Ooh! Ooh! You going to learn today? Brought it back. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right back around. Hey, hey, I, I knew it was a hustle, but I don't need that, uh, that much age. I can get him out of here. You can get him out of here. Yeah, I can get him out of here. Man, I got stamina. Man. <laughs> hey, man. I know, man. Say what the hell happened, man. Hey, what the hell happened? No, man. Flag yeah, on the plane. Yeah, that wasn't flag it. Flag on the plane. Pause, nigga, around this thing. Hey. So, man, like, like who... You and you and Poker Bear did a, a song together last time. We was talking about that when he was on here. Like, got, you guys going to do something else together? Oh, we got like I thought three, y'all were going to do something four, else. We got you, like three, four songs now. Y'all done went back since y'all left here? Yeah, but we got one called uh, can, can She Go Up and Down That Pole. Oh, my. Oh! It's one, one of them ones. It's one of them ones. One of them ones. It's a strip club song. It can be. It got to be. Can she go up? What pole? Wait, pole, hey, man. Hey, man, you know some of the blues. You got, you, you got to talk in, in slang to get the point across. Oh, my God. Man, I'm telling you, boys, it's rough and tough, man. Yeah, man. You know so that trail ride, did you, was you at a trail ride when you did that song? Like, look, what made you do that song? You know that trail ride gonna bring the pain. Yeah, that, that trail ride, man. I, I don't get, get so many trail ride shows, man. How, like who be, It's still your same in, inner circle that, that's doing the setting up of the shows that get you the trail rides versus like a regular show. At a, like a coliseum or something, or either like a, a theater. I like the fields. I like being like out there in the fields, man. Fields, where they man. riding them four wheelers at, man. You like that? Yeah, cause I ain't got to dress all up. Yeah, 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 yeah. My boy, then a monkey suit and some boots. Every time I see you, though, you clean, though, when you come on Boss Talk. So. Hey, man, you got to be on Boss Talk. Man. You got to be clean on Boss Talk. You got to talked about on Boss Talk. Man, have anybody, who, who have came to you coming off Boss Talk 101 and be like, man, I seen the show, man. Man, bro, everybody, listen, man. <laughs> I swear to God, man. Like, man, how in the world you get on Boss Talk? I don't know how to get on that plane, man. Crazy, I swear to God, bro. Crazy. Come on, I can get on a plane. <laughs> or all the hit me like, hey, man, can you please talk to the man? Tell him, let me get on this show. I said, I got you, bro. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to do a trap, man. I ain't going to lie to you and say, yeah. He gets his shot right here. You going to be calling me. You going to be calling me like, dang, bro. You said you going to get on the garden. I said, I'm going to holler at him. <laughs> Now we don't count them holly. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, hey, I'm waiting on the answer, bro. Whoever this guy is, all you got to do is get in the inbox, man. Our PR team, all the people that watch, man, uh, they looking at everybody to get in there. I know sometimes it seems like we don't see you, but we do see you, and we always looking at opportunities to bring in new talent or just people who want to get on the show, man. Thank you guys for even staying interested in the show. Man, so hey, many folks uh, be hitting me about on. this show, man. If you DM me, you will not be on TV. Yeah, hey. yeah. Yeah, yeah, my nose don't like dealing with them too much. Man. Man. If you DM me, you will not be on TV. I got to put it out there. Yeah, you don't hey, like look, it. That's a slogan. If you DM me, you will, you will not, not be, be on, on TV. TV. <laughs> you will. You will not be on TV. Man, I, I just really. Put them on about these man. I'm telling you, that's going to be a trademark thing. But later, boy, you'll get a dumb chick. Man. Now, nah, like, like, so when are you and Sir Charles John going to do something else together? Y'all got something? Oh, man, yeah. We got something to come on my new album. Okay. What is new album? New album dropping? I'm gonna drop it on Mother's Day, man, for all the ladies, and all the mothers. That's in the world. May. May. Yeah. Yep. I think what it May 12th, huh? Yeah. I, I think Mother's Day May 12th. May some. I do. I do know it's yeah, in May. Drop. And I'm finna drop this uh, older woman video starring, yeah. starring Big Fifty from BT Trap. Man, how was it working with her? My little Big Fifty, man. You I got to get on Boss Talk. Why you ain't got on Boss Talk? Hey. Yeah, we on Boss Talk. One Woo, one. she can get on there. She can get on there. Let her know. Let her know I said she can get yeah. on there. She be out here a lot, too. Yeah, I know. I, mm -hmm. My partner, man, shout out, man. Well, R.I.P. the Big D. He, he had on his show. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, okay. and he from Detroit. Yep, yep, so, yep, so, yep. So, he did, but I, I like to link with him for sure. Yeah, man. I thank God, man. Big Fifth or real, bro. How did you guys really meet? I met her through Jay Rizzo. He, okay. He, he was another artist up on the uh, search our brother, Jermaine Ray. Okay. So, I told him, I said, man, link me up with Big 50, man. And he linked me up with her. And the crazy part about it, now I got two songs on the number one street move on BET. Wow. Get a check from him for the rest of my life. I remember when it first happened, you called me about that. Yeah, remember we bro, talked about yeah, that? Yeah, we talked about that. We talked talk about that. a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you my guy. Yeah. People don't realize, like, you called me, and, and it's the ones that, 
it, it's the ones that God put in my life like you who people don't realize like we talk and I don't I don't I'm never too yeah, busy. Yeah, be outside of business yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I'm never too talk, busy. Yeah. And you can call me, you pick up the phone, you're going to get a solid conversation. We're going to talk and ride for real a minute. It's going to be something that's going to stick. You know? Real talk. Real and that's talk. what real partners are supposed to do for yeah. each other, man. I just think you be, for, be, When you're real part of it, it's bigger than the music, man. It is. Way yeah. bigger. That'll come around. It's way bigger, you know man. The whole game is just having, you know, that brotherhood that is something brotherhood, else, yeah. man. We got to stick together, bro. We got to. we to. stick together, bro, we'll be the biggest thing Cold. around here. Mm-hmm. Cold. That's what people everybody don't understand. Everybody want to be the man. I'm trying everybody. to stick with everybody. I don't want right. to be the man. I just want to be close to the man. Right, right, right. That made, perfect, that made perfect sense, though, bro. Wow. Man, um, like I said, thank you for coming on the show, man. Um, how can people get a hold of you if they trying to rock out with you? Oh, uh, man, you can uh, email me, man, badnews334 at gmail. That's B-A-3-D's, N-E-W-Z, 334 at gmail. Facebook, Bad News. TikTok, News, William, 334. Instagram, Bad News, 334. YouTube, Bad News, Vivo. Wow, That's man, work. that boy working, man. Like, um, and I, I want to make sure I don't leave nothing out. Um, shoot, you didn't, you done pretty much did everything you could do for us when it come down to just steadily write. Do you, you write, don't you? You write. Yeah. I know you can tell that you put your time into your oh, work. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I write for the underdog, man. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I do it for the underdog. You know, I let my ball man Sir Charles don't do it for the top dog. I yeah. do it for the people that are trying to get there. Yeah, I'm your I'm the motivation that it can happen. They well, say rap couldn't be done in so and so. Now I'm the reason they don't brought rap awards in so and so. Well, you were rocking out with Boosie for we can't after Boosie oh, yeah. got shot in Dallas. You know he won't come back unless you give him 150 thousand. Is what he said. That's what he said. You know we trying to get him back to Dallas. You know I ain't gonna put that bag up. It's going to be somebody else. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know but the nigga he is worth it. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, he gonna bring that bag. He man. gonna bring it because he, he ain't been here in a minute. Yeah, you know they love saying? him. They love him very well. Yeah, he, they call him Mr. Homecoming now. Oh, that boy. He brought all the homecoming. Oh yeah, that what they call mm-hmm. him now, Mr. Homecoming. He got on there the other day. He <laughs> said somebody said he had a. Man, don't put my name in somebody that got murdered oh, yeah, or something down there. Yeah, and really, yeah, he was like, nigga, that. I'm not in none of that. Yeah, he said, don't even so mix said, me with damn, that. damn, my yeah. nigga, what happened? You know, that's when I started looking. Like, yeah. what yeah. happened? I didn't even know what happened. Yeah. He the one made me know what something was going he, on he, with he's it. He's still on, uh, I don't bun for the feds. I know that. So yeah. that's why he's saying that. Of course, don't yeah, keep don't my name in none of that. And wow! Keep me out the folks come back and pick me up. Yeah, yeah. Well, y'all being just keep me out of that. Girl. Out of all the way out of mm-hmm. it. Well, man, we love you, bro. And, I love and like y'all I too, said, bro. man, anytime you pull up in Texas, you know what we gonna do. We gonna y'all gonna see him about four more times. I wanna go to the next show this year. Hey, man, I'm here, man. I'm here. Uh, February 9th, I'm in Fort Worth. February 10th, I'm in Fort Worth. March 22nd, I'm in Dallas. I'll be there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. March 22nd. Hold on. What day is it? Friday. Which one? Uh, uh, February 9th or Friday? Yeah, I'll be back in town. Yeah, February that 9th, Friday. That night, February that night yeah. you gonna go over oh, there? Oh, yeah, boy, I, I, I got that BBW lingerie party February 10th. Never BBWs, lingerie, bad, bad news, Versace roll, hey, no hey. shirt. It's the dumb way. They like skinny dudes. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you off here, man. Hey, bro, thank hey, you for coming. I'm, on the I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah man. man. And we gonna do it like oh. that, man. I'll be on the West Coast, but in March, I'm gonna come rock out. March with you. 22nd to going out. Chandra Stewart, birthday badge, bad news, Jeter John, LJ Eckles, and Mo, man. Man, I'm coming. Let's I'm coming. It. Just call me and remind me for sure, because I'll be busy. Down. Make it's sure I ain't down. out of town. Put me Let's on the flyer, the BBW show. Hey, what day is it, March what? Oh, you think I'm playing with some series? But the BBW yeah, show is no a shirt BBW on. pool party, man. I'm coming on. Ooh, that's it, dope pool. I do dope pool. It's on the I'm coming on that thing with a Versace roll, no shirt, and some Timberland boot. Ooh, that boy coming with it. That boy coming with it. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, man. Make sure you guys, man, hey, man, listen. Get down in these comments, man. Uh, also, check out this next video that's about to come up, man. These is clips, all the bad news, man. You're going to get to see him in rap form, everything that we talked about on this interview, man. Just a little, with a little bit more detail, and to man. to y'all promoters out there, book me. You go win, and I'm hey. going to make them old folk feel young again. Hey, you heard what he said, man. Book me, you're going to win. You're going to make them old folk feel young, young again. Young again. Mm-hmm. Bam, bars. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Boss.